Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Up. And we're carving this gun stock still. Okay, uh, where we left off was with these lacets. They're carved in. All we gotta do is sand them or take a little, uh, really fine file to them. Okay, now we're gonna be working on this bottom border here. Yeah, that, I don't know if it's doing it for you guys, but on my screen, I'm seeing blue outlines on any place that there's a point. Okay, so this is what we're working on here. So we're going to start by taking our knife. This is a one inch OCC knife. Um, I like using the knife because it leaves less ripples. Anybody that, that has a rotary tool knows what I'm talking about. If you want a nice, clean, smooth surface, a lot of times a rotary tool will leave like little waves across the, across the carving. So, the knife, um, does leave some little marks, but nothing like the rotary tool does. So right now I'm just cutting that. Just taking a little skim cut, getting that paper off from there. Okay. That. Now what I did here is with this leaf, I kind of angled it back under the top leaf. This knife is so sharp you can just you can actually cut this paper in two. I mean you can shave a layer see that? Shave a layer of paper off and leave some paper. Feels like it's getting a little draggy. Uh, that's the only downfall of dealing with walnut or beech. Some gun stocks I've seen made of oak. My favorite is the black walnut stocks because it's such a pretty wood. But on edge tools, it's pretty rough too because it's hardwood. The old shop inspector boy, earlier she was freaking out. I had her in here. And uh, my friendly neighborhood spider, or not spider, my friendly neighborhood chipmunk decided he wanted to come in and steal some more of my cherry pits. Um, it's a biofuel I use in my, my stove in case you guys didn't hear me. In the winter time. And I've got I don't know, I, I've got a tote left over that I didn't burn last winter. And this chipmunk loves these cherry pits. Well, that chipmunk come in and the shop inspector was laying on the recliner. Boy, did that, that chipmunk get a surprise. I don't know if we're going to be seeing him back here. I think he got his... Got a life lesson there. The chipmunk likes to eat cherry pits, and I think the shop inspector likes to eat chipmunks that are stuffed with cherry pits. And she, boy, she took off. She chased him. She just came back about 10 minutes ago, so I didn't see a chipmunk in her mouth. So, yeah, I think he got away. I'm sure when I mow the grass, I'll find the where out where he was hiding because there's probably a hole as big as she is. She That dog usually doesn't give up too easily. Okay. So you can see we've carved in here. We've carved this leaf round down into this other floor, floral, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So then we're going to come in and we're going to round this edge and this edge. 
it's going to be tapered downward. So for that, we have to flip the gun stock. Okay. Okay, so we flipped the stock. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this, this is that leaf that's angled inward here. Okay. So now we want to take this leaf, and I'm just going to round the edges over on it. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. Okay, yeah. Always got to keep checking to make sure I'm in, my camera's in. I got a bad habit of working out of frame and recording it. It's like, why waste your time recording it if nobody can see it? It's like I was having focus problems. I had it on autofocus, and it would focus, but it's like it wanted to focus on everything but the gun stock. Yes. Slowly we turn. All right. I never like leaving sharp edges on gun stocks or anything to be honest with you even a walking stick any place you can get snagged on you know I just like to shave them off that we all know leaves aren't perfectly flat so we just round it we just I just round it. What I usually do is uh, I'll round it over till I get down to like where this uh, scale pattern is here. I'll just round it back until it touches it. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And then the edges where they're really sharp, I usually bring them down I'll bring it down into the scale pattern there that way there or chain mail whatever you want to call it um, you don't have a sharp point to catch your your jacket or whatever on so we do it like that okay now we're gonna flip it back over again flip there's a lot of flipping and we will come in here we in? Yeah, we're in. Okay. And we will just take that edge off. I think it's almost time to sharpen my tip of my knife again. Just take that edge off. Now, if anything, because this, this leaf, you can see it rolls up here. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Yeah, okay, well, I'll turn it a little bit. You see this leaf rolls up, and we've rounded this edge down. So we're going to want to just take the edge off of this leaf. Not much, because you want it to look like it's rolled. I mean, you don't have to. You could probably do this just as easy with some... 220 grit sandpaper and not take the risk of your knife blade digging into the wood and making a boo boo. Boo boo. You don't want no boo boos when you're doing a gun stock for somebody. Okay, so we will take our SCM high speed air tool back with our little pointy thing, our little pointy burr. Here, this really fine detailed pointy burr in the SCM high speed air tube. And we're going to go back around and cut our borderline in just a little deeper. We're just trying to get that separation. 
from the chain mail a defined border where the chain mail stops and this little leafy thing is just want to keep that defined There's somebody who left a comment, said they got one of these and they don't like it. Well, every tool isn't for everybody. That's because they make so many different tools. Um, but if you really don't like it and you don't want it, email me be more than happy to have another one of these. rvreelin35 at gmail.com That's my email. If you're interested in getting rid of it. Because I truly, truly, truly love this little tool. For doing this kind of really high detail work, man, you cannot beat this thing. See that? I wasn't paying attention, and I probably got most of that wasn't even in in film or in view or video or I don't know. Just one of them days, guys. Just one of them days. like three million degrees Kelvin here 90 percent humidity the fish are walking down the sidewalk because of the humidity so high they can breathe the air okay so See how that just flops all over the place? That's what it's looking like. If I can get it in there, yeah. That's what it's looking like so far. We got this side here mostly cut in. These are little, man, bifocals. Gotta hate them. Yeah, so we got that done right there. Okay, now we got to do the otter side, which you see I already did the, these guys here on this. So now we got to do this over here, get all that done. Oh yeah, we got a couple more minutes yet. We can start this side. Okay. May not get no videos for a week or so, maybe two weeks. I've got to. Uh, I bought a. I bought another shop. Um, and I have to move it. You're like, oh wow, you're rich. You bought another shop, yeah. But I got to move it. It's got to be taken down and moved. And no, I'm not rich. I just got a, it was just a phenomenal deal. I could not pass up. And thank goodness I got friends that are willing to help or I would never get it done. I get by with a little help from my friends. Hopefully, 
when I call them to say, hey, come help me take this down, they show up. You hear me, Derek? Derek's a really good friend of mine. And uh, it's been hard, you know, with this COVID thing, not being able to go see your friends or hang out with your friends. I mean, we talk, talk on the internet all the time. Uh, it's not the same as hanging out. It lacks something. For me, it lacks something anyway. Um, Jordy's a, Jordy Johnson there, he's a really good friend of mine on YouTube. And I'll tell you what, if I could hang out with him, I would. But he's in Canada. He's not... I'm in Michigan, so I'm not that far from Canada, but he's not on my Canada side. He's way over there, way over there, way over by the west side. I, You know, you forget how big Canada actually is. It's a pretty big freaking place. Pretty big. All right. So we got all of our paper cleaned off this. Now you can leave it just like that and it would look pretty cool. Uh, but you know Just Car Rob, I can't leave nothing. It's my problem. Can't leave nothing alone, Rob. So I got to come in here and I'm gonna take the high speed air tool and come in here and retrace all this stuff again. And then I will carve it. Shop inspector must see something out there. Oh, she's barking. All the time barking. Okay, guys, so let's end this one here. Share, subscribe, and like. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye.